Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. So today I thought I would show you guys uh, my eyeshadow palettes if I could only keep 10. And this was kind of challenging for me. I have way too many palettes, like way too many palettes. Um, but I do love the choices that I have. For me, it's enough variety to be happy. So before we get started, please like and subscribe. I would just really appreciate it. It would mean so much. So now let's just get right into the video. So no particular order. I'm just going to start with just what's right in front of me. And this one is a pretty pricey palette. This one out of all of them, I believe. Yes, this is the most expensive palette. Um, and it is the Patrick Ta. Oh my gosh, I can never remember the actual name. The Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. This is so expensive. It's like $68, but it's such a beautiful, it's so hard to see with the glare. Beautiful neutral palette. I love this palette. Love, love, love. It's so easy to use. So blendable. Like creamy without being like too creamy, super soft. And then the cream shadows or the cream bases are just amazing. So easy to blend. This is just amazing. It works for so many people. I've not seen anyone say anything bad about it just besides the price, especially for like a neutral palette, which I understand, but I love Patrick Ta and I just, I love his makeup techniques. I love his products. So I got this the day it came out. Like the second I could order it, I did. And I'm so happy I did. I do not regret it whatsoever. This is such an amazing palette. But like I said, the price, mm, it's a little crazy. But there are other amazing neutral palettes out there. So next, I have both of the Persona palettes, the Identity and the Identity 2. So this is the Identity. I'll talk about this one. Whoa, real quick. Along with the Patrick Ta, this is just one of my favorite neutral palettes. This one's more like a true neutral. The Patrick Ta, for me, is just, I consider it just a little bit more warm or just more, more of the brown tone. So like more like brown neutral warms. This one has a tiny bit more of the variety. It has a little bit of like a purple and like, you know, reddish brown. Kind of like, I guess the Patrick Ta does kind of have a reddish brown, but more like these lighter shades up here, which for me works really well. This is just amazing. This one, kind of like the Patrick Ta, I think this one actually for me is just a little bit more user-friendly in my opinion. When I, having used both, I think this one is a little more user-friendly. I think these blend just slightly easier. Like I'm just nitpicking like, you know, how this one's just a little bit better. I'm trying to justify it because the price is $42 versus $68 and $42 is still a little pricey, but this is beautiful. I love it. I can use every shade in here and it's just amazing 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 you probably heard people talk about this all the time and then the identity too amazing 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 as well just more of the colorful palette still has some neutrals i love it it is beautiful kind of like how the identity palette is it's just so easy so blendable and these colors are so easy to work with and they're just amazing if you're looking, I mean, if you can, you know, afford or if you want to purchase, you know, whatever with Persona Cosmetics, I would recommend. I think pretty much anyone would love the products. Next up, I have two Sigma palettes. I have mentioned these, like how much I love them in like my makeup collection video, which I keep mentioning and I don't know if it's going to go up yet. Okay. So the next two palettes are Sigma palettes and they're my two favorite Sigma palettes. I have, technically I have six Sigma palettes because I have two of the nine pans, but it's the Enchanted. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so good for me for every day if I do want more of like an everyday colorful, like the Persona could be an everyday colorful, but something about this one, I think it's just like this green and everything, like this greenish kind of like gold and like I don't know. I don't know. I like this color right here. This color and this color, perfect for just an everyday look. These colors every day, like, and then like there's the darker neutrals, like with the pops of color, I guess I should say. Oh, it's beautiful. I just, I don't know. Something about this palette, every time I look at it, just makes me so happy. Like, I can look at this palette all day and I won't get tired of looking at it. Like, that's how much I love this palette. It is gorgeous. Sigma quality. 
in my opinion, is amazing. I know it's not for everyone, but the next one I have is the Untamed palette, which is just, for me, like, a more grungier version of Enchanted. I kind of say that pretty loosely because Enchanted does have more of, like, different colors and, like, this, like, dark green and, like, this mustardy color. I said dark really intense. <laughs> the dark green and the yellow, like, mustardy ochre. Is it ochre? I filmed another video and I couldn't remember how to describe this shade and I think ochre might be a right word like a dark ochre I have no idea but for me this one's also super wearable in this green this green right here the shade envy I'm happy I have it in this palette and in another one of my nine pans <laughs> I love this shade it is so pretty it's so pretty it's perfect it's per it's like the perfect green for me I love it I'm obsessed all these shades like I love these purples for just like a simple look as well like a pop of color simple look amazing 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 this palette i can also look at all day and i would not get tired of it that is how much i love it oh it's beautiful this one i feel like is kind of unpopular now like an unpopular opinion if i can only keep 10 palettes um just because a lot of people don't really care about the formula anymore or the brand is just kind of boring and bleh to them i think they're kind of starting to make a little bit of a comeback now and it's the modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I I know that at one time this was so many people's favorite formula, favorite palette, and I know that the formula now is not for everyone because there's so many other super great formulas out there. I really still like this formula. It's definitely not my favorite. This is actually also my second Modern Renaissance palette. I had to get rid of I haven't even used this one yet. I had to get rid of my other one because I used basically every color. I used this for years. Like Shortly after it came out, I got it, and I had it for that long, and I love it. I love it. I know for blue eyes, it can be... I hate this window right here. <laughs> I say that all the time now, the window. I'm so sorry. I know that's really annoying. Um, What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I know for blue eyes, this palette can be tricky, but I haven't never had that issue. If I did have an issue, it's because I used, like, too much of this orange, or when I did use, like, these kind of shades, which... I know really care for. I'd be really careful because it can make my skin look like a rash instead of an eyeshadow look, especially with my blue eyes and my like pretty fair complexion. But I love this palette so, so much in this Primavera shade. It's kind of like the neutral, like I love that Envy green shade. I wish I could have that shade over and over and over. This Primavera shade, I wish I could have just in a whole palette and I would just use it. I love it. I don't know if they ever had this as a single, but if they ever had this as a single, I'm so sad that I didn't know about it and I didn't get my hands on it because I love it so much. They need to either put it on as a single eyeshadow or bring it back as a single eyeshadow because I would get a whole palette, like I said, of that shade Primavera. This is a beautiful palette. I still love it so, so much. Next, I have a ColourPop palette, the Making Mauves. I didn't really have any mauve tones or enough mauve tones for me because I do love mauvey tones. And I was like, why not just a whole mauve palette? And this one is perfect. This is like the perfect amount of like the mauve -ness. It's not too like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the perfect amount of depth when it comes to mauves for me. I love it. I love every shade in this palette. I feel comfortable with using every shade in this palette. And it's just, it's gorgeous. This is probably one of their most popular palettes that I've heard, that I've heard people talk about anyway on YouTube. And even some people that I watched said that this was like their favorite ColourPop palette, which I'm not disagreeing with. This is definitely one of my favorite ColourPop palettes. I love it so much. These tones are beautiful. They work for so many people. Highly recommend. I feel like everyone has this palette, honestly, but I do recommend this one for sure. One just saw me and they were looking back, like walking past my window and they went like this. But they might have saw me. I'm upstairs though, so I don't know how easy it is for to see, but anyways... The next palette, so I do have a couple smaller palettes. I have like the Making Mauves and even like the Persona and Weather palette I haven't shown yet are fairly small, but I wanted to put in a little five pan palette because um, I thought like, oh, travel reasons, if for some reason the Making Mauves or Persona was too big, which I, I highly doubt, but it's the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I've had this one for so long and I love it. Um, this bronzy shade right here is pretty soft so I don't know if it's happened to anyone else but this one is kind of breaking on me so I do have to be careful but this is just a perfect easy everyday 
nude neutral palette great for travel every day you know this is just great the quality of natasha denona is amazing 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 and i love it i have two more of the minis and i have two of her um, bigger sized palettes i have the tropic and the glam and i haven't used the glam one yet but these are all the all of them that i have used the four of the five are just amazing they're smooth they're so easy to work with definitely probably my favorite formula out of all my eyeshadow palettes you can't go wrong with any of the natasha denona palettes besides the price like even just these small ones are 25 like tiny like i know they have like a $48 one, which is a little bit bigger and it's a five pan. But these are great. They're expensive for the size in my opinion, but I think they're worth it. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Last, um, I have two more palettes actually. So I have the Nabla Side by Side as another palette I would keep if I only had 10. It's just another neutral palette. I try, for me, I like the balance I have of like neutrals and some colors and stuff like that because I am a neutral, usually a neutral kind of gal. I love neutral colors and this palette is amazing. The only thing I realized that when I use it, I do need an eyeshadow primer with it because if I just use concealer on my eyes, it just doesn't seem to work as well, which is not a big deal. So I love it. It is so pretty and it has some of those grays, which I don't wear gray like ever for the most part, but there are times once in a while where I want to wear gray, gray, yeah, gray and like a silvery kind of color. Um, this is great. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just a really nice neutral palette that is really easy to work with as long as, um, for me, I have more of just like an actual base versus concealer, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. I love these shades. They're more like not too warm. They're just a nice neutral and I love it so much. The last palette some people love, some people like, some people just don't like it at all. And it is the Tartlet Toasted palette. And I love, I'm one of those people that love, love, love this palette. Hence why it's probably, you know, I'm like the 10 if I, if I could only keep 10. I love it. It smells good too. <laughs> um, These are just kind of my, right up my alley, like the really like warm neutrals. They're just so pretty. This latte shade is just perfect for every day as well. I don't know. For me, I don't have any issues. For some people, the shimmers are just a little not bright enough and things like that. Mm, another person looked at me. <laughs> um, I don't know. For me, I don't like... Usually, I don't like too foiled or too shimmery. I just like it a nice color with a little bit of like a sheen on my eyes. And I feel like this just does the job perfectly for me. I never had a problem with it. I love it. Also, just I really love the smell. I know I mentioned that, but... It smells really, really nice. I love it. It is, for me, easy to work with. And I know Tarte, some people just like, eh, Tarte's boring. Um, I mean, they're not wrong, but I like their quality. <laughs> but yeah, that's my last palette. Those are the 10 palettes I would keep if I could only have 10 eyeshadow palettes. Which, I mean, 10 is still a good amount. I love all these palettes so much. I mean, that explains why like I made this video like the 10 I would keep um I I recommend them all personally I know that they're not for everyone and that's okay we all have different preferences but those are what I chose so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and comment and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys